I figured I'd have some music playing for everyone to join in on. Thank you. Dancing, actually. Did you see that? I did. I saw the, the hip shaking going on there. I know I know those, uh, Michael Ann. How are you? Yeah, I am good. You know, I'm here in the house. I got to dance by myself. My husband's not going to dance with me, so can't go out and dance. You know, I'm in Vegas, right? So... Some of your pictures are just crazy. I, I don't I don't imagine you've seen Vegas like that ever. No, no, not at all. And we're thinking um, July for everything to open back up. So don't don't, yeah. don't say that. I'm supposed to be there at the end of July. Don't say that. Well, you should be okay end of July. I'm just saying. I don't know that it's gonna be before that. Okay, okay. That's what you're hearing. Yeah. Yeah, okay. some of our clients work at the casinos, and yeah. uh, that's what they're thinking. Hopefully, that's yeah. worst case scenario. Okay, well, let's uh, fingers and toes crossed. And I'm glad we got that conversation out of the way before my director of operations gets on the call because it's her uh, bachelorette party end of July in Vegas. So we'll just table this discussion um, for now. <laughs> Um, all right. So I don't know. Uh, I know we have a few others logging on because I've had a few other people text me. So I don't know if you want to just give it another minute. We do whatever you like. This is your 30 minutes, sister. So whatever you want me to do. Okay. Let's, um, let's give it one more minute. I'm going to text back a couple people here. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that Zoom has been slow today. So maybe that's what, um, part of the problem is here yeah i uh was just on the kwu um command class for command uh facebook group and we couldn't even go live on command so that was super fun oh boy yeah wow interesting so i would love to see all of your beautiful faces is that going to happen today oh there you are <laughs> How about Steven down there? Am I going to see his face? There's Jess. There you are. Yes. Oh, Melissa. Just thank for you, Steven. Just for a short while. Okay. <laughs> Melissa has been saying connecting to audio for quite some time. So I don't know uh, what's going on with her. I don't know if she's got slow internet or whatnot, too. So, you guys seeing all that slowness on your side, or is it just me? I'm connected through, um, it's an ethernet cable, right? And it's, com I'm yeah. on commercial Wi-Fi or I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, commercial, you know, internet. So I've got some pretty good speed here. Yeah. I don't know why that is. That happened earlier on some of my Zooms where I said connecting to audio and it just sat there and the bubble just kept going and going and going. So yeah, I see that anyway. for our friend, Melissa here. Yeah. Hi, Megan. Hi! <laughs> don't look at my face. I'm from <laughs> We don't. We don't. We aren't judging makeup. Look at the curly hair. I got sick of doing my hair, so I went curly today. We we don't care. Yeah, me too. Right? So you're good. We're just We're all, loving that you're here, and I can see your smiling face. And I got poison ivy all over so. my face again. So. <laughs> we. Oh, you can't even tell, Steve. It looks like you got a little sun. It doesn't look like poison ivy, so. Okay. We're good. Oh. All right, well, let's just go ahead and get started. I wanna respect the time of the people that have uh, joined us today. So Michael, Ann, thank you for taking time to join us today. And uh, in the messaging that welcome. we sent out and posted, we said that you are by far one of my favorite maps coaches. So thank you for agreeing to be here with us today. And I'm just gonna turn it right over to you. You can tell us a little bit about yourself or you can dive right in. Actually, if we can dive right in, that'd be awesome because I'm sure you would rather do that and have a coaching moment. And then, of course, Q&A, any questions you'd like to ask me at the end, we'll certainly do that. Fair enough? Perfect. Cool. So could we start by talking about what we're going to call the fundamentals? Would that be okay? Yes? yes. All right. And... I think the truth is many of us, I mean, maybe not us right yet, 
<laughs> some people have been ignoring the fundamentals for like way too long, right? And I find that this market of the moment has revealed some things. Are you all finding that as well? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Perfect. And the market has what I'm going to call shadowing, if you will, the performance and the bad habits of thousands of agents for years. And that shadow transitioned literally into a spotlight virtually overnight. <laughs> Would we agree? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And pardon the expression. Don't don't um, get mad at me when I say this yet. I'm going to say it anyway. Because of the mark of the moment that we're in, we really get that the real estate swamp is going to get drained, right? Mm -hmm. So what I'd love to do today is I'd like to ask that you jot down three questions. You don't have to answer them today. What I'd love for you to do is maybe think about them ponder the answers and then come back maybe on another zoom call and you guys have a little coaching moment or a little brainstorm mastermind around what you're going to figure out make sense yep yes? is anybody okay. else real quick michael and anybody else on the call hearing having a few words that michael Ann says uh, be, uh it, it, like an internet issue you can hear every single word she's saying I, I can had hear a couple of times, but mostly okay. no. Maybe it's just me. Keep going. I just want to Sorry about sure. that. And if you'd like me to repeat anything, I certainly can do that for sure. So the first question okay. that I would love for you to dot down, and again, you don't have to answer it right now, right here, yet I would love for you to think about it. The first question is, where are you or where are you and your team ignoring the fundamentals? Where are you ignoring the fundamentals as it relates to your business? And if anyone's a Michael Jordan, I'm a Michael Jordan fan. So if you've been watching that documentary, if you watch that and it's now on ESPN, talk about somebody that totally understands of fundamentals, right? Mm -hmm. So my second question would be, what is the one fundamental you haven't been doing that we must focus on right now? Second question, what is the one fundamental you haven't been doing that we must focus on now? Because here's what we know, on the other side of this, and I mean pandemic, right? On the other side of this, you are going to, I'm quite sure, we at MAPS are quite sure, you are going to be busier maybe than you've ever been before, right? There will be a surge in the real estate market. And at MAPS, we've been looking at this market that we're in or situation that we're in right now. We've been looking at this in three phases. Like six weeks ago, has it really been six weeks? I think it has, right? Six weeks ago, we were talking about creating urgency. And at that point, it was urgency around getting those pendings to close. Right? You had close April, let's move it to March, right? We were creating urgency around bulletproofing, if you will, those transactions. Then we went to the second phase, which was real estate school 2.0, right? We're going back to real estate school because I'm sure you will all agree, we are not gonna be doing business moving forward the same way that we did business six months ago. Would we all agree with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're quite confident that is not going to be the same at all. So we all went back to real estate school and we'll talk about that in a minute. Now we're in that third phase because some states, as you already know, Georgia this week, right? Some states are coming out of the shelter at home and they're gonna be out and about again. So now we're looking at the urgency piece again. And I know we've all made our care calls. Have we all made our care calls? Yep. Yes? 
Perfect. I love that. I see Melissa shaking her head. Yes. And that's a beautiful thing because that goodwill around those care calls on the other side of this is going to go such a long way for all of you. I cannot tell you how important those care calls you, I'm sure you realize how important those care calls are and have been for your database. And I'm talking about your past clients, current clients, sphere, right? All of those people, they will never forget that you checked in on them. Mm -hmm. Now we got to go back to let's find some business. So we'll go there in a minute. Okay. The third question that I'd like to have you jot down as it relates to fundamentals is what is the one fundamental you must instill to thrive through this shift? What is the one fundamental that you must instill, must instill to thrive through this shift? And it's interesting because I sold and coached through 9-11, Gulf War, right? That was the definite shift, right? I <laughs> sold and coached through 2008 and that whole situation. Those were different shifts. Would we agree? If anybody was there with me, right? Mm -hmm. This is a little bit of a different shift, yet we still have to prepare for what's going to be different. It's already different, right? I know you guys are doing virtual listing presentations, digital buyer consult, strategy sessions. It's probably not going to be that much different on the other side of this. I have coaching clients right now that are saying they will never go back to a traditional open house again because they love doing these virtual open houses. They're getting all of these people through. They're getting offers from a virtual open house. They're loving it. And mm. Olivia, you'll love this. I have a coaching client in Washington state and he's 27 years old. And the reason I'm telling you that is because he's so excited. He has never been in a shift before. So he's like, woo, right. I can't believe it. I'm finally in a shift. Right. So it really is all about how you react to the market that we're in. Would we agree? Yep. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So I'm going to ask that we use this time and for all of you on this call, does that mean another two weeks, Olivia? Does that mean another four weeks? What's the situation where you guys are right now? We are shelter in place, I think until May 4th and we're, is it May 4th or I think, yeah. And we're hearing that it is not going to be extended, um, but I guess you never know. He's kind of agreeing to partner with a few other um, neighboring governors and, and do what they're doing. And some of them have extended to the end of May. So hard to say okay. at this point. Okay. So we've got to be prepared, right? So it may be May 4th. It may not be May 4th. Yet, you know, that's why we're having this conversation today so that we can prepare and we can, of course, take this time, whatever that looks like, to make ourselves better and stronger than ever before. Because if you didn't hear this previously, before today, those of you with mad skills are going to love this market when we are on the other side of this. Because mm -hmm. you're going to have to convince some people, if not already, right? that it is okay to move forward and not wait. That's a skill, would we all agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And I'm sure you also heard Gary say, or you saw maybe a post that Gary put out there that said, right now it's gotta be heads down and what? Anybody know? Hearts up. Heads down. Hearts forward. Yeah, hearts, hearts up. Forward. Yes, absolutely. And you know, it is not going to be business as usual. The landscape for being a real estate professional is going to change. It's already changed, right? And there is a silver lining in all of this, by the way, the virus, I'm sure you would agree, has leveled the playing field for all of us. Do you know what I mean by that? Mm -hmm. Like, are we not all in the same boat right now per se? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And 
those of us that come out of this and we say, wow, I've been waiting for this market my whole life, right? Those of us that are prepared, those of us that welcome it, those of us that maybe, you know, are excited about being part of whatever comes next, you're going to thrive. So the question is, and the reason that I'm talking to you guys today and Olivia suggested that we have this conversation is because the question is, is that going to be you? Are you the one that is absolutely going to thrive when we are on the other side of this? And you don't have to answer that right now. I would like you to go back to those fundamentals questions and think about it, answer those and figure it out, right? What is that fundamental that maybe, and of course we're talking about basics, right? That maybe we've been forgetting about or ignoring perhaps. Those of you that have been making your care calls, I will give you now a new call, let's say, conversation that you can have as long as you've made your initial care call. So I think when we looked at this, all of you on this Zoom call today, you said, yep, I got through my care calls. Is that true? Yes? All right. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to get back to, let's call it business if you will, right? So of course we're still checking in. We do care about these people, obviously, right? Service first, sales second. Yet mm -hmm. when we say service first, by the way, we just had this little mastermind with Gary today, this morning. And I find that sometimes when we say service first, service first, sometimes we think that means that we can't still talk about real estate. And maybe not any of you on this call are feeling that way, yet I find that some agents are thinking, oh, you know, these care calls we made and we've got a you know, service first, that means we can never ask them, you know, who do you know that would love to buy or sell real estate? And that's not really what Gary means, right? He's saying service first, sales second, and I'll give you a great example of a conversation you can have that works beautifully right now. So are we all ready to jot this down? Yep. Yes? Okay. Yes. Obviously we're gonna call and we're gonna check in again. We've made those check-in calls already. Now we're gonna segue that conversation into this. And by the way, this simple, and I can't say it enough, it's like the simplest question you could ask. This simple question, has been allowing multiple, I'm talking like six, 10, 12 listing appointments a week. So are we ready? ready? All right. The question is, what do you need to know? Again, we're talking to our database. What do you need to know or want to know about our local real estate market right now. Doesn't get any simpler than that. What do you need to know or want to know about our local real estate market right now? Can you clearly see how that could open up a discussion around their real estate needs? Yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Simple question that's leading to, again, 12 appointments, six appointments. It's really interesting to watch what's happening just from that simple question. And for all of you, just tell me because I, I'm asking because I really don't know. Are you guys doing mainly virtual listing presentations and buyer strategy sessions? Are you going out and about and doing them live? What are most of you doing? Our team is, is going on appointments. Okay. So you're going mm -hmm. on actual in-person yep. appointments. Okay. Yep. Cause I've got some coaching clients and we've got coaching clients that of course are doing everything virtually, which is kind of cool by the way, cause it's kind of slick, right? That you can do a zoom call and show the listing presentation, whether it's a PowerPoint or whatever that looks like, 
and boom, right? You don't have to leave your home office, which is kind of fun. Same thing with the buyer consult because we know that there are some areas, and this is why we had to perfect this and master this quickly, some areas you're not going to their house, right? It's just not possible. So the good news is you still have the opportunity to do that. Yet if somebody did say, hey, you know, even though you're going to wear gloves and a mask and a hazmat suit, right? I still am not comfortable with you coming over. I trust that you would all know how to do a presentation digitally. Yes? Yep. Perfect. Because you've been practicing that, I'm sure, right? You guys are awesome. So let's talk about bold pivot and how it relates to these fundamentals. Would that be okay? All right. Have we heard of bold pivot? Have we all heard of bold pivot? All right. Yep. Yes. Awesome. I love it. Melissa shaking her head. Love that. So number one, the good news is we don't have to drive to bold, right? It's going to be right from the comfort of our living room, dining room, home office. It's a beautiful thing because I know Olivia knows some bold participants drive two hours, three hours, an hour to get to that bold classroom. Well, we're bringing it to you digitally. And let's talk a little bit about what that's going to look like and the content, if you will. And of course, what kind of bold would we be if we didn't talk about mindset? So first and foremost, those of you that have already decided to register or you did register for Bold Pivot, that first session, as it typically is, either in Classic Bold or Bold 2.0, is all about mindset. And you're also going to talk quite a bit about, you've heard this before, I'm sure, how to do more when dealing with less. So could anybody give me an example of what we mean by do more when dealing with less? What do you think that's about? Anybody? I know I see Nicole, Sarah, Jessica, Holly, Michelle. What do we think that's about? Any guesses? Olivia, what do you think? Doing more with less or do it saving. What, what was the question again? Sorry. What do we mean when we say we're going to do more when dealing with less? Gary's been talking about do more when dealing with less, and we're going to absolutely address that in Bold Pivot. What do you think he means by that when he says that? I think it's absolutely uh, a time to work smarter, not harder. And I think, you know, since it it is business as usual, but since it's in a different way, I think we have to just adjust our, our best practices. And like you said earlier, go back to the fundamentals. Sure. Yeah. Because, control our time, control our environment. Yes, absolutely. And how about those expenses? Mm -hmm. Cut them. Right? Yeah. Because some of us have been spending money on things that we had no business spending that money on. Right. So do more when dealing with less. I'm seeing in the chat box. Absolutely. Michelle, right. Work smarter. Like Olivia said, time management, expense drop, for sure. Could it also mean that our pipeline, right, might be less because now we absolutely only can work with the motivated. We've got to find the motivated. So might that, let's say, list be less yet could we do more when dealing with less if we only worked with motivated people yes mm -hmm. i agree of course we're also going to talk in bold pivot about profit because you all know it's not about what you earn it's about what you what keep keep of course yeah and what kind of bold would we be if we didn't talk about lead generation. And I trust that you have all been building that moat, as Gary says, around that database 
it could not be more important at this time right now that you are building that community, that database, those people that know you, love you, trust you, know of you, you know, MREA too, right? Second edition, a little looser definition of a MET, if you will. I know we're not allowed to say METs and haven't METs anymore yet, just appease me. And that database, of course, are all of those people that know you, like you, trust you. I am going to assume that we are working on building that moat around that database and we are touching them at least, of course, 36 times. And what we've suggested, by the way, and you might already been doing, be doing this, you probably know, I would imagine, the traditional 36 touch is two touches a month, right? We're saying during this time, in addition to those care calls, you're now stepping that up to two touches a week, right? One of those touches being your market stats. So has everybody at least been sending out and posting your seven days worth of market stats? Have we all been doing that? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Then we're gonna have to have another touch during the week. Maybe it's an invite to a Zoom happy hour for our clients, right? My coaching clients have been having a lot of fun with these Zoom client cafes and all of this cool stuff that they're doing virtually for their database, interviewing people, finding opportunities for local businesses within their database. That's all been fun. And that all works when we couple it with those calls, right? Those conversations to check in on these people. And now, of course, take it to that next step, which is asking that question that I gave you earlier. So in Bold Pivot, you will continue to get great advice, let's call it, around those conversations you'll be having with your database, because we're not calling, if you've been to Bold before, right? You'll know what I'm talking about. We're not calling right now and saying, hey, do you have two minutes to help me with a problem, right? We're not doing that script. We're not saying that. So you're going to get some really great conversations from Bold Pivot as it relates to your DTD2. If you've been to Bold 2.0, you know all about doing the database too. So you'll love that piece of it. And you'll learn how to run a digital savvy business. And by the way, doesn't that sound sexy? A digital savvy business, right? It just sounds sexy, right? <laughs> and the other part of Bold Pivot, of course, is learning how to get back to those basics, those fundamentals, and really lean into the best practices and strategies for the market of the moment. Another reason that I'm really excited about Bold Pivot, I went on the bold road back in 2009, right? When we had a little shift there as well. And the course writer that is working on Pivot is the same course writer at KWU, at KWRI, that helped to write the original Bold. So this content has been totally reconfigured not even the same as Bold 2.0, clearly, right? It's totally different now because we're in a different time than we were three months ago. So totally reconfigured for the market of the moment. And of course, you'll have the opportunity to experience Bold digitally. The other thing I love about this, Olivia, is I'm now on the West Coast. So I don't see agents on the East Coast for bold anymore. When I was on the East Coast, I didn't do bold on the West Coast. So you're now all going to have an opportunity to experience new bold coaches that you may have never experienced before because it is a rotation, if you will. It's a different bold coach for each session. So some of you are going to love that because you'll experience coaches that you have not seen before. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. And I'll leave you with this, or I will end with this. You all know that we can't control those external forces, right? We can only control how we what? React. Yeah. Respond. How you react, how you respond. And you know, you cannot 
wait, right? We can't stick our head in the sand. We've got to respond or pivot, if you will, quickly so that we can ensure that our business doesn't fall apart because that would be tragic. You probably have heard last time we went out on the road with Bold was a shifted market. At that time, over 300,000 agents left the business. The reason Gary is giving you this gift of bold pivot is because we don't, he doesn't want to see any Keller Williams associate leave the business. So let's quickly talk about what bold pivot's going to look like, and then I will let you guys go. You are going to be in front of a bold coach twice a week for content learning the strategies Tuesday and Thursday from one to three. On Wednesday and Friday, you're gonna be in front of a bold coach for additional coaching. So maybe that looks like, hey, how do I implement X strategy? Or would you role play this conversation with me? So you are getting four opportunities a week to be in front of a bold coach, plus we've all been assigned, if you will, the Q&A area of the Bold Pivot private Facebook page. So you are literally getting advanced coaching, a bold coach, literally every day for $99. It is truly, I believe, a gift from KWRI, from Gary, because he believes so much in this content, this material and clearly doesn't want to see anyone just survive. We would love for you to thrive when we get to the other side of this. So any questions for me, Olivia, or anybody about Bold Pivot or anything that we're doing right now at MAPS Coaching? I don't have any. We've got quite a few people signed up from our Market Center for Bold Pivot. And I know Melissa's working with some guests as well uh, for the opportunity to take bold. Does anybody else have any questions? We did have a question in the chat. When will, do you have any insight as to when MREA2 will be done? Wow. Um, the cool thing is the MAPS coaches do already coach to MREA2. So if you're in MAPS coaching, you already know, right, about MREA second edition. The maybe not so cool thing is we have no idea when that book per se will be on the shelves. I cannot give you that. I cannot give you that answer yet. I love that we are getting the content ahead of let's call it, you know, the general public, if you will, and what all right. that looks like, because we're putting it into Bold 2.0. If you've taken Bold 2.0, you already know based on MREA2, there's no longer an eight by eight, right? That's the 19 touch. The 33 touch went away and that's more a 36 touch plus, 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 like most of us are doing like a 70 touch, right? So <laughs> there are some of those tactics and strategies from the content of MREA2 yep. in Bold 2.0. I don't know that I answered that question. So <laughs> no. it's when Gary, I guess, decides he wants to finish writing in, huh? Um, it is, yes. <laughs> any other questions from anybody else? I don't have any others uh, specifically about Bold Pivot, I don't think. Anybody awesome. else? Well, I trust, I don't think I see any in the chat box. Yes, tell GK I'm ready for the book yeah that's awesome yes i will, I will be sure gary at kw.com <laughs> <laughs> yeah gary at kw.com feel free to uh ask away all right olivia i promised 30 minutes and it is uh 34 so i Thank trust you. you will come back and review those questions that we asked at the top of the hour very very important that we all really get back to the basics and figure out what is it going to take for us to thrive and not just survive really thrive because you all know there is going to be a surge in real estate, the business on the other side of this. And I'd love for all of you to be a part of that. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Thank you guys. very much. Yeah, Thank you. Have fun. I'll see you in July in Vegas. You will. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.